It is one of hockey's most storied championships, the Memorial Cup, and we will crown a winner tonight. Hi, everybody, James and Ray, ready to bring you the action. Opening face-off just moments away. Puck is dropped, we're underway. Give me a sense of what something a win here can do for the kids. Well, of course, if from a team standpoint, you win the Memorial Cup individually. Those players that are draft eligible, they can change their draft status. Those that are already drafted, they can maybe change the way the team that drafted them thinks about them. Haas plays the puck. And now it's grabbed by Prokop. Shawinigan's got a hold of it against the wall. The Oil Kings have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Carvalho's got it against the boards. Moves it to Bourgeau. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Oil Kings lead it 1-0. The Cataracts get a hold of the puck in their own end. Shawinigan's crossed the line and on the attack. Here he is in close. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a reaction. And it's kicked away. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Here's the pass. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. Bourgeau's got it along the boards. Quick feed to Nadeau. Big save by the goaltender once again. Bang, bang play right in the low slot. The goalie's on top of it. He makes a really astute save here by reading the play well and turning it aside. The Cataracts gain possession along the wall. Across the line from center. The Oil Kings gain possession in their own end. Through center. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. And he regains control of the puck. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Taken by neighbors. Edmonton's got it along the wall. The Cataracts get a hold of the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Bourgeau. Casa's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. The setters will glide into the dot. Kings gain control of the puck against the wall. The Cataracts look to start the transition game. Moves into the slot. Gets a pat on it. What a stop by Kosa. Gives him a tap with a stick, and the referees don't like it. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Hey, this is one of my favorites, James. The old slashing penalty. I took a few of those in the day. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. You can set a special team trend if your first power play is a positive one. Get some shots, get some pressure. Here he is, wrists it on net, and he comes up with it. Cologne's gonna cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. LaFontaine's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Shawinigan's won the draw. Loose puck battle along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by LaFontaine. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Winnigan's got the puck shorthanded. Edmonton's got it behind the net. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. 
I see the call here. Sometimes the sound your stick makes on the other guy's equipment is what sets the signal off. That's a slashing penalty. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. The Cataracts take possession in the defensive end. Now over to Tube. Slides the puck to Boldwine. Prokop's going to join the penalty kill here as they remain short-handed. Slick feed. Too much congestion in front. And he was ready for that save. They'll be looking for him to produce. Casa's a star goaltender who backstops his team confidently. One of these players is going to help give their team the upper hand tonight. Guys, back to you. The Cataracts have it behind the cage. The transition game now into full effect as they move across the blue line. Turn that chance aside. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. <laughs> Neighbors is prepping to get back into the play as the penalty's almost over. Oh, he got thunderstruck on that hit. The Oil Kings get their man back out of the box. Oh, a good power play is about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done. The power play expires. Neighbors plays it now. Pokes the puck away. The Oil Kings take possession of the neutral zone. Sets the pass in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Cologne's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. In the final moments of this period, and it's a 2-0 hockey game. There's the horn to conclude period number one, and Ray Ferraro's already off to grab his intermission hot dog. We'll be back in just a moment. Are you a super fan? Here's your chance to prove it. If you have the best decorated car or home, you And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. You think you've got a lane? It is closed off. Casa's going to bounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Edmonton's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Prokop stick handling in his own zone. The Cataracts have it against the wall. Off the clock, and the puck skips away. Takes a lap, but still hangs on. Edmonton's working the transition through the middle of the ice. There's a firm collision. Poked away in the neutral zone by Sorter. Neighbors is whacked with a slash. Delayed penalty coming up. Nice stop by Cologne. And here comes the judgment from the official. The Cataracts are getting penalized for slashing. The Oil Kings send their man advantage unit out once more. Sometimes you have to have the shortest of memories when you play on a specialty unit like the power. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Goldwine's got the puck in his own zone. Raffaello Mezzinsoa's moving it ahead. That's not going to fool him. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. The Oil Kings will serve two for slashing. Ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. The Cataracts take possession off the faceoff. That was amazing! What a save by Kosa! And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Gets it out of his own end. Shawinigan's gained possession along the boards. The Cataracts come up empty-handed on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. But when the puck moves and the feet don't, this is what you get. You have lots of zone time. 
but no real dangerous chances on that power play. The Oil Kings have it now. Here they are on the attack. And that's tucked away by Bayette. The Cataracts get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Fires it on net. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Moves it quickly over to Lipen. Kenanika's got control of it now behind the cage. Shawinigan's through center and now in the offensive end. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Bourgeau. And now he angles it across to Carvalho. The Cataracts have it from their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Quick pass to Carvalho. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Directs it on over to Carvalho. Scrum along the boards. Take it along the wall by Cooley. Drives to the paint. Gives them nothing in front. Shawinigan's got it in the own zone. Picked up along the boards by Bayette. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Taken by Kananika. Here's an offensive chance. on over to Neighbors. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Battle along the wall. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Shawinigan's got it in their own zone. Slides the puck over to Baldwin. Into the corner. Moves it to the middle. Takes the ball. Late goings of this period. The Oil Kings lead this one to zip. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Carvalho. Shot! And they come caught up in traffic and hits a stick. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Oh, what a chance and it goes sideways. The Cataracts take it along the wall. Edmonton's looking to break out. And the puck's not loose. And now it's over to Carvalho. Intercepted. Here's a short pass to Tube. And nearing the final minute of the second. Playing big in the moment there. Sordic's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Pinned up along the boards. Takes the feed. Vayette's got it on the offensive end. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Shot! There's the horn. Two periods down, a third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. Just a reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. It can enter the seating area and cause serious injury. Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. And this one's underway here in the third. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? The Cataracts are still in this game, and really, it's kind of a miracle, James. I mean, they don't have many shots on goal, not many chances. That's going to have to change in the third period. Procut's lugging the puck. 
Nadeau's never going to quit on a play, and we saw that in that last chance, James. He stumbled. It looked like the play's dead, but he still gets a pretty good chance on goal. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Bork's two-handed shot is going to send him off to the box. Ray, they're trying to cling to this lead here. Do you continue to push the pace, or do you try to settle down a little? Well, I think you have to attack to defend. I mean, if you're going to sit back, they're going to ram it down your throat eventually. But he wants his young guy on the ice. He loves the pace that this kid plays with, and he's going back on the ice. So Winnigan's got possession here in their own end. Moves it to both lines. So Winnigan's got the puck against the boards. Fantastic save! The Oil Kings take it along the wing. Carvalho's got it in the offensive zone. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Rafano Mezensoa. Quick feed to LaFontaine. Oh, just puts it wide of the net. Uh, trying to be a little fine with it. This is a good goaltender. You know you have to make a really great shot to beat him, but he just fires it wide. The Cataracts scoop it up along the boards. Redirected in front. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. And he makes the save. Uh, we used to laugh about this and say, oh, the goalie's got to answer the phone because his ears are going to be ringing. But I'm sure the trainer's going to check on him here as this hits him right in the face. The Oil Kings gain control of the puck. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Moves it around along the half wall. The Cataracts have possession shorthanded. Holdwise got it in the corner. A chance! Edmonton's grabbed a hold of the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Walks up and ready to join the play. Turns another aside. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. Forks out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit. Good work by the killers here. They give themselves an opportunity as giving up another one would be almost a death blow. Across the line along the left wall. Cooley's got it in the defensive end. Takes the feed. The Oil Kings looking against the half wall. You'll need more than that to beat him. Moves it quickly over to Lipin. And that slides right out to center ice. Quick pass to Carvalho. Edmonton's gained the line and into the zone. The Cataracts have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And that skips out of the offensive end. Great hustle to come up with the puck. Pass broken up. Looks to make a play over to Lipin. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Chance in front. Can't connect the play. Delayed penalty coming up here. Sends it in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. And that goes off course off a of body. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. A little bit like a hooking penalty. You're not going to get called for slashing if your stick's on the ice. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Edmonton's got a 2-0 lead. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Up along the wing. Moves the puck. Here's a short pass to Bayette. And now he moves it to Kenanika. Stopped by the goaltender. Koss is going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Turned aside with the glove by Kosa. Goalies love making the glove save. Whether it's a great save or a rather run-of-the-mill one, they love to show you that they've caught it after they've put it away. The Oil Kings take possession off the faceoff. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. 
And that's deflected. The big challenge in a game like this is while you keep missing chances as a team, don't get frustrated. Just keep providing more, and hopefully you get the next one to go. The Cataracts gain possession along the wall. Angles it over to Sorta. The Cataracts have it behind the net. Looking for space inside the D zone. And that's poked away. Slides the puck over. Goes right to the crease. Decides to think about it. Stops that one. Cologne's been excellent. His save percentage is terrific tonight. But they are just not finding anything at the offensive end. Let's send it back down to ringside with Carlin Bade. Casa's been fantastic pitching a shutout here. There's no doubt he's been the better goalie in this duel, guys. The Cataracts have it now. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Carvalho's hack, not a popular one in the eyes of the officials here. They'll go back to work on their special teams. It doesn't really matter, I guess, what's happened before. This power play is at an important time in the game. They need to find a way to punch through. Sort of ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Shawinigan's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, the referee's going to call that one. They go on the attack from the left wow. side. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Well, this isn't going to go down as one of his favorite periods he's ever played. That's a couple of penalties in this frame. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net. The face-off becomes critical. second place. I do, James. I think it's really important to show some respect to the team that has just won. It's been a hard-fought series, and you just go through, you say good series, and move on. What an impressive team effort from start to finish, and as a result, they're collecting the trophy. Isn't it something? All this year, all this battle, all this work, and really, you want to put a trophy up over your head. That's your goal. Just for that. That's it. And it's worth it. Oh, it is every inch of the way. jealous when you see the other teams win the championship. This is where I'd get jealous of these well, pictures. Look how happy they are. I mean, it's you've laid it all out on the line and now you've got the trophy and this is really the first time you take a picture as a championship team. 